Since our last NVIDIA GPU Buyer's Guide, they've added quite a few new additions to the range, including a whole new RTX 20 series with real-time ray tracing, and then some super versions of some of the cards too. And if it's left you scratching your head and feeling a bit baffled about which to choose, then this guide should help you to understand firstly where each card falls in the hierarchy and why you might select each. Now, many modern processors are equipped with integrated graphics, but they're usually only suitable for basic tasks such as web browsing and office applications. So for you gamers and video editors and those with a heavier graphical workload, you do need to make sure that your graphics card is up to the job. The more powerful a GPU, the more cores and memory it'll have, enabling your PC to run games at higher quality settings at a smooth frame rate and allowing you to take advantage of super sharp high resolution monitors, making everything just look better. The latest series of NVIDIA GPUs are from the GeForce GTX 16 series and GeForce RTX 20 series with prices ranging from as little as £65 right through to over £2,000. There's an NVIDIA graphics card for everyone. And to help make your choice a little easier, we've split the cards into an easy to understand entry level, mid range, high end, ultra high end and extreme. NVIDIA's most affordable graphics card is the GT 1030. It is based on the older GeForce 10 series and has 384 cores and 2 gigabytes of memory. And whilst it's not suited for playing demanding games, the GT 1030 is suitable for casual gaming on less graphically demanding games such as Minecraft and World of Warcraft at lower detail settings. The GeForce GTX 1650 is NVIDIA's most affordable gaming graphics card. It's based on the same Turing architecture as the RTX 20 series cards, but it doesn't support real-time ray tracing or DLSS. However, it is armed with 896 cores and 4 gigabytes of memory, and you end up getting good 1080p performance at an affordable price. The GeForce GTX 1650 Super is an improved version of the 1650 also based on the same Turing architecture as the RTX 20 series cards, but it doesn't support real-time ray tracing or DLSS. However, as it's armed with 1,280 cores and 4 gigabytes of memory, you end up getting good 1080p performance at an affordable price. The GeForce GTX 1063 GB is a previous generation 10 series GPU, but it's still available at a knockdown price. Armed with 1,152 cores and 3 GB of memory, the GTX 1063 GB provides good performance at 1080p. Next up, taking all that's good from the GeForce GTX 1063 GB card, the 6 GB variant does two things. It doubles the amount of memory, which is really useful in the latest games, and it also increases performance by upping the cores from 1152 to 1280. This gives the GTX 1066 GB excellent performance in games at 1080p. Like the GeForce GTX 1650, the GTX 1660 is based on the latest Turing architecture, but it lacks support for real-time ray tracing or DLSS. It's equipped with 1,408 cores and 6 gigabytes of memory, so it's the most affordable graphics card for gaming on a high-resolution 1440p monitor. The GTX 1660 Super is a new and improved version of the 1660, focused on delivering smooth frame rates at 1440p. It's got the same GPU as the 1660, but the RAM has been upgraded from 8000 MHz GDDR5 to 14000 MHz GDDR6, helping it to achieve 9% better performance than the original 1660. The GTX 1660 Ti is the more powerful version of the 1660. Although it has the same 6 gigabytes of memory, it's got more cores, 1536 versus 1408, giving you higher frame rates in games at 1440p. Then there's the RTX 20 series, all based on the latest and most advanced Turing architecture for gamers and creators. These cards enable real-time ray tracing, which simulates the physical behavior of light to bring an almost cinematic quality to your graphics in supported games, as well as DLSS standing for deep learning super sampling, which uses the power of artificial intelligence to boost your frame rates. The most affordable 20 series GPU is the RTX 2060, packing in 1920 cores plus 6 gigabytes of memory. It's a great choice for gaming at 1440p. Though due to the huge complexity of ray tracing, it can only play games with ray tracing smoothly at 1080p.
The RTX 2060 Super is a new and improved version of the RTX 2060. It supports all the latest Turing features but increases the core count from 1920 to 2176 and the memory from 6 to 8 gigabytes, giving a bit more performance at a similar price, making it a great choice for gaming at 1440p. The next big step up in the NVIDIA 20 series is the RTX 2070, a true high-end GPU that's equipped with 2,304 cores and 8GB of memory, giving a substantial performance increase over the lower spec RTX 2060 and a great choice for gaming at 1440p at the highest quality settings. The RTX 2070 Super is a new and improved version of the RTX 2070. It supports everything the 2070 does, of course, but boosts the core count from 2,304 to 2,560, giving a bit more performance at a similar price, making it a great choice for gaming at 1440p. Then the next big step up in the NVIDIA 20 series is the RTX 2080, which is equipped with 2,944 cores and 8 gigabytes of memory. Having so much power on tap gives the RTX 2080 the ability to play games on a 4K or UWHD monitor, although if you enable ray tracing you'll need to drop the resolution to 1440p to get a smooth frame rate. The RTX 2080 Super is a new and improved version of the RTX 2080, of course. It increases the 2080 core count from 2,944 to 3,072, giving a bit more performance at a similar price. And of course, making it a great choice for gaming at 4K or UWHD. Although, like with the RTX 2080, you will need to consider dropping the resolution to 1440p in ray trace games. Then it's the RTX 2080 Ti, this ultra-powerful high-end graphics card which packs in 4,352 CUDA cores, 11GB of GDDR6 memory and supports real-time ray tracing that makes games look truly stunning. The Titan RTX is a special edition graphics card based on the same Turing architecture as the RTX 2080 Ti, but enhanced with even more cores and memory. This ultra-fast graphics card packs in 4,608 CUDA cores, 24GB of memory and supports real-time ray tracing that makes games look truly stunning. We know there's a lot to take in and so many options to choose from, so to summarise each GPU's performance level when used in gaming and VR scenarios, we created this table giving marks out of 10 for each graphics card. So I hope this video has been helpful. You can shop the full range of NVIDIA graphics cards at scan.co.uk or of course check out our range of 3XS systems featuring NVIDIA GPUs. Or for even more help making that important GPU decision, speak with one of our helpful advisors.